Were you able to make him understand that that if his pulmonary disease goes on unattended, that walking's not going to be much of a problem to him later on. He's not going to be able to. Jeez, it just seems, you know, when it's, we're all so enthusiastic that maybe this is going to help him. And he just says, no. Well, some you'll be able to help because, because you have the materials and you have the know-how in order to do it. Some you're going to be able to help because they cooperate with you because you have these things. Others are not going to cooperate. And he's just one of those, I guess. He won't let us treat him. It's not the last time you're going to get in a problem like this. Probably not, but... It's really tough to take. Yeah, if we couldn't do anything for him, fine. But, uh, geez, we, he's got at least a p potentially treatable disease. Emergency admission, 88-year-old man who complains of severe chest pains. He has been here before. You smoke at all, Mr. Britton? Initial examination reveals only one thing wrong. He is hard of hearing. You smoke at all? Pack a day. For how long? Before I took the first attack, I used to smoke three, four packs a day. But then I cut it down to two. Now I go one, one a day every day, doctor. Okay, you want to lie back for me? I'm a little painful there, you see? Where, right up here? As you, as you could see the chart, the first chart would be a very interesting case of mine. I want you to put your head back now and don't say a word. I want you to lean back and don't say a word for a little while. Open wide. Close it. Follow my finger with your eyes. Have you been short of breath for a long time? Oh, a long time, Doctor. How long? Short of breath for about two years, over two years. Two years. Can you sleep flat in bed? Yes, no. How many pillows do you use? How many one. pillows do you use? Just, you can sleep on one pillow? In the hotel, you're lucky to get one, Doctor. <laughs> Ron, would you come down and take the EKG? And guess what else? We've got an 88-year-old man to readmit with anginal syndrome and dyspnea. <laughs> How does that grab you? It's going to be a long night tonight. <laughs> Cardiogram want to look that good. How old are you? 88. My cardiogram looks like this at 88. <laughs> okay, you can relax now. The 88-year-old patient is in good health, but the doctors take no chances. He will be kept under observation for three days.
is only one time during the whole week when the doctors can assemble for a non-medical meeting. They call it coffee rounds. Tension breaks, the doctors relax. They try not to talk about medicine, unsuccessfully. All right, all right, explain, explain the cues and the anterior leads then. The residents aren't supposed to work so hard. Yeah, and I'm a little bit older than I can't tell you. At Bellevue, you work hard every year. Study, uh, Uncontroversial pathologic evidence today. Dr. Lewis, you got to listen to this. Schmidt had another maneuver. Uh, Dr. Yes, Mulder, right. you got to listen to this. <laughs> he stood by the... He tried every other kind of maneuver this time, but he couldn't get the man to, to move a muscle or open his eyes. Couldn't find any positive findings. He knew the man was faking it. So he... Uh, he stood by the side of the stretcher and he called another doctor over and he said, we, we got a good steak to me. When these fellows are really sick, when they really are about to die, you can take their arm and you can put it up in the air and leave it there and it's, it'll stay right there. So he, this is what happened. He took, he took the man's arm and, and he, said, he, he said, watch, this, it'll happen right here probably with this man. He's real sick. So he held it up and he, and he dropped, it, dropped his arm and the man's arm stayed up in the air. So, and he said, and I can do it with the other arm. And he held his other arm up, and the other arm stayed up in the air. He said, I can, and, and his leg will do the same thing. And he held his leg up in the air. <laughs> and he had two arms and a leg. And then he shipped them to Psycho, put a big sheet over the top. watched them go down the hall. Two arms and a leg, a big sheet over the top. <laughs> Mark, what's your, what's your wife going to say when you've been here six months and you don't know where, which way to show her around town? Jeez, I don't know what she's going to do, really. I've been out of this place. And... You can give her a nice tour of the hospital. Anyway. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not on as much as you are. I'll show her around the place. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Dr. Mulder, you got a call. <laughs> this is Dr. Mulder. All right, fine. I'll be right down. What is it? That's all I call All eight four doctors. All eight four doctors. Emergency ward stat. Eight four doctors. Emergency ward stat. 